Right, so uh, welcome to the complete course of LaTeX and uh, let's take a look at what is this LaTeX is about. So LaTeX is a document preparation system for high quality typesetting and it is typically used in uh, scientific documentation and technical documentation uh, such as uh, research papers, academic journals and books. And uh, LaTeX provide uh, an extensive set of features for creating these uh, complex mathematical equations and other scientific notation uh, and it is based on uh, text type system and it is originally developed by Donald North in 1970s. So here are some benefits of using LaTeX. So LaTeX produce these high quality documents with uh, consistent formatting and typesetting which means uh, it's not like other uh, typesetting systems that you generally use in but um, in LaTeX, uh, the, all the formattings and other uh, type settings you can predefine, which means uh, uh, those predefined formattings can be reusable through your entire document. So the consistency will be there and it will be more professional looking. And uh, it is easy to create these uh, complex mathematical equations and other scientific notation. So there are several packages available in LaTeX by using those packages you can easily construct uh, those complex stuff and uh, LaTeX is free and open source tool which means you don't need to buy anything so you can just uh, use any other uh, package or necessary tools uh, just for free and it has a large and active user community with many resources and tutorials available online uh, so you don't need to go through you know uh, comprehensive documentations and stuff like that uh, just uh, you can google it and uh, find out whatever you want and uh, latex files are plain text file so it makes easy to version control with git as well uh, so originally uh, version controlling is not required for git uh, for latex files uh, but uh, if your documentation is going to share with uh, many people then it is quite good to uh, have a version controlling as well and if you are research or your scientific uh, uh, project uh, is required uh, much more um, you know dynamic background for your documentation handling then uh, again it is uh, recommended to use a version controlling tools like git uh, so latex is uh, supported with these version controlling stuffs as well and uh, later on uh, we will look at how to version control your document uh, by using it as well and uh, yeah so in order to use latex first uh, your device should install uh, any latex distribution so such as uh, if you are using windows computer uh, the text live and mixed text is some of the uh, popular distribution of latex and if you are using ubuntu version uh, you can simply install uh, latex by using a uh, terminal and uh, once you install the latex uh, you need the text editor to use this uh, latex features so you can use this text maker or visual studio code uh, and uh, once you install all of those uh, packages and softwares you can simply construct a text file uh, and uh, start uh, creating your uh, latex documentation or latex uh, article and uh, once you have uh, designed your latex file uh, you can export it as a pdf format or any other available format such as uh, dvi or ps uh, or pdf right uh, so the course content is basically first uh, we will take an uh, introduction to latex and then we will look at how to create these um, title pages, abstract, chapters, uh, sections, subsections and things like that. Then we will move on to the text formatting and uh, then we will talk about list, figures uh, and tables and how to construct this uh, complex mathematical notation and how to uh, uh, embed uh, the code listings with your document and how to do this referencing indexing and uh, 
at the end we will may look at uh, the github version controlling of latex files as well right so that's the course content and uh, yeah in order to install latex uh, on your device as i mentioned in the uh, slides first uh, you should download mictext and text maker so mictext is the uh, latex distribution for windows and text maker is a uh, visual editor or text editor uh, for this uh, latex so once you download these packages you can simply install it so i have already downloaded that and now uh, let's install the mictex first yeah you can simply install this on your device so I will keep the default settings. All right, so we have successfully installed Mictex, and now let's install uh, TextMaker as well. So TextMaker is the text editor that we want. All right, so everything is done. And uh, let's go back to our uh, directory and let's go for a maybe C drive and let's create a folder maybe let's say latex so this is the folder that I'm going to store my uh, latex document all right so now text maker has been installed so let's open it up and uh, yeah so this is the view that you can see initially and uh, let's create a new document and let's save it in the device as well so i will use this directory to save my latex template and i will name it as latex underscore template and save right so now you can see uh, here we can now uh, enter the latex commands to construct our document and this is the basic text editor that uh, text maker provide for us and this is the structure and this is the uh, weaver of our document source weaver of our document so you can uh, turn on no turn off these uh, tabs whenever you want so for now i will keep it as uh, in the default way like this right so initially uh, in order to construct our latex document first we have to specify the document class so simply type document class and it will uh, give this tag for you so in the uh, first attribute you have to specify what are the base stylings of your document so let's say i'm going to use a4 paper uh, with a, a 12 feet of margin right and that's the base styling for my document and depending on your requirement you can uh, specify your document class as article or report or anything like that so in my case i will keep it as a report right now we have the document class then uh, we have to tell latex okay now begin the document as well so just simply type begin and document so it will automatically add this uh, end tag as well so within this begin and end you can specify uh, whatever stylings or latex artifacts so for now i will simply type uh, word maybe let's say hello world right so once you have entered some sort of text over here this is enough to construct a very basic latex document right so now if you go to your directory you can see that we have this latex template file and it is in the type of dot text right so if i toggle this extension you can see that it is in this dot tex type so this is the base uh, latex file that we want right and uh, 
you know to build this file you can simply uh, toggle this button right or click this button uh, so once you click that it will construct the basic latex document for you right so you can see that in the source viewer uh, we have this hello world thing and if you now jump back to your directory now uh, you can see that there are a bunch of files has been created so basically these stuffs are uh, source files that is generated uh, through this uh, latex compiler so make sure not to change or delete this stuff uh, whenever you are building your uh, text document right and uh, you can see that we have this pdf file as well so probably this would be our pdf output of the document right right so yeah everything works correctly and uh, in the next video let's look at uh, how to construct uh, our abstract and title pages and other chapters and section and uh, yeah thank you